Nvidia is not just about CUDA and GPUs. They have an army of Apache 2 licensed open source software and Tensor RT is one of them. In this video, I am going to show you a hands-on local demo as how to use Tensor RT, what exactly it is and how to use it in a production environment. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. So what is TensorRT? TensorRT is Nvidia's SDK for optimizing train models and running ultra fast inference on Nvidia GPUs. What it does is it provides a compiler and a runtime for many model types including transformers. So what happens is that you take any model in either PyTorch or ONNX or any other format and then you run TensorRT on it and it optimizes it for NVIDIA GPUs. For production use cases it is extremely important especially when you are serving at a global scale or for a huge user base because you want to eke out every ounce of performance out of your expensive and rare GPUs. So let's get started. I am going to use my Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card from Nvidia which is RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. If you are looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. Now there are various ways of installing and running this TensorRT LLM including you uh, you know just clone their repo and build it from scratch or you can just simply use nvidia's provided docker image i'm going to go with the docker i already have docker installed and if you don't know how to install docker just search my channel and i have done heaps of videos on docker too first step i'm going to download the docker image from nvidia's ngc which is their hosted cloud again another really good repo for a lot of great things and by the way this video is not uh, sponsored by nvidia anyway so let me first log in to this ngc here and if you are following along and if you want that api key just go to nvidia.com to the gpu cloud and grab your api key so let me paste my api key for login and then i will clear the screen and once you are logged in you can simply download that docker image and once you run that it downloads and install TensorRT on your local system and everything is installed and you have to be patient it takes around 10 minutes to install everything okay let me clear the screen now and if you want to verify if everything got installed and what is the version of your TensorRT, just run this Python snippet and you can see that everything looks good. Next up, let's download the model. For downloading the model, I'm just going to run this command and I'm going to go with this Mistral 7 billion instruct. You can use any other model. I am just picking it up from Hugging Face. And the model is being downloaded. Let's wait. And the model is now downloaded. So TensorRT is installed, model is downloaded. Let's do the magic of TensorRT LLM, or in other words, let's optimize the model. So if you look at this code, this is what TRT LLM or TensorRT does. So we are here optimizing our Mistral model with TensorRT LLM. What we are doing here is we are pointing it to the model directory where our source model is, we are then parsing the model, fusing the kernels, picking the fast tensor code tactics, and then converting all compute to floating point 16 with this D type float 16. And the end result should be an optimized model for speed and VRAM consumption. So let's run this and it is going to output in the directory. And it is running at the moment. It is going to take a bit of a time. So let's wait. And I will also explain this output in a bit. And that is all done. And it took just around 48 seconds. That's it. Let me explain what exactly this output means. Because the main purpose of this video is to uh, basically explain what is happening here in terms of this tensor RT LLM. So... <clears throat> 
Uh, you can ignore this warning. This is just talking about the CUDA version and PyTorch version. After that, it auto configures plugin feature. So you can see that it is using the bird attention plugin or fused MLP enabled. And then once that's done, it is just telling us some of the Llama configuration, which is the usual stuff. And then it is checking our NVIDIA GPU card, which is RTX A6000. And it is checking its uh, clocks, theoretical teraflops per precision, how much VRAM is there, PCI details and all that stuff. And then it notes some extra tensor provided. After that, it initializes TensorRT, load its builder kernel library and says nickel plugin none. So nickel is just the inter-GPU communication library part of CUDA toolkit and that it constructs a network which just takes 7.9 second and it has created one optimization profile and then it built the engine just within 46.7 seconds as you can see here how quick that is and if you look at the other stuff you know in terms of um, how much it has done very quickly you can see that it is talking about that that there are the weights are around 14 for 0.5 gig gigabit and scratch is around 486 um, uh, bit and lot of other activations so if you're interested in that sort of statistics it also gives you what exactly it has built and from there on you can serve this model with this tensor rt because it is also a serving engine like many others and i'm just going to point it to my uh, model and the model is now being served now you can just keep let it uh, keep running here and you can open a new terminal and do the inference with it and this is a simple script which i'm going to use in order to access that tensor rt endpoint at port 8000 locally running just open a compatible api as you can see and we are simply giving it this user input as hello from tensor rt so if you think about it it is just yet another backend but optimized for nvidia's gpus the rest of it works the same something like vllm and there are various others too so let me run this from my terminal and now let me run this there you go so you see how quick that is and this is one thing with this tensor rt because this is yet another optimization component because it delivers blazing fast GPU inference by optimizing kernels, fusing layers, and using mixed precision to maximize throughput and efficiency. And the story doesn't end here. If you're looking um, for the production grade setup, when used as a backend for Triton inference server from NVIDIA, this tensor RT allows you to deploy a serialized engine which you know files seamlessly and that enables Triton to handle real-time large language model workloads with minimal latency and maximal GPU utilization. That's it. Let me know what do you think. If you're already using it, please share your experience. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.